finished working through their Italian packages and I thought I should come through and just do a really quick once over with these DCBs. So I just want to make sure that all the queens have been released. Empty cages, very important. And then we out of these sixes, we only had five frames in there just to give us some space. And I'm just dropping that sixth frame in there just so they don't make a mess on me. And there is just one, this one here. Just a little bit of drift, not bad. But one colony was a little bit big, one colony is a little bit small. Did I take one frame from one, put it in the other just to kind of balance things out a bit? I'm not queen checking yet because they've only been released for, we put them out on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, six days. They've probably only been out of the cage for two or three days and I don't want to disturb them too much and I don't want to interfere with the process and there's no real sense checking before she actually starts laying because you can't assess a queen just when they start laying. That's just acceptance. I want to see the quality of the queen too. So I'm just going through double checking that the cages are free of queens and balancing out things just a little bit. I'll let you take a peek here what I have going. out. Colony is full of bees. Just for video's sake, I'm going to see if I can find her. She's laying already. There she is. This is a Jacob Ackerman queen. She's a beauty. So as I go with my rule, I'm not supposed to be checking for queens. Just checking for release. Patty down, filling up the space. This one has a sixth frame already. Let us see if she's laying. She is, oh there she is actually. Another Jacob Ackerman Queen. Beautiful. So they've just started laying. This is a Emily Huckster Queen. No, this is a Jacob Ackerman Queen still. And there she is, actually. 
Boy, three frames, three queens. This entire frame is filled out. Goodness gracious. I'm almost tempted just to check them all, but what's the point? I will leave that until next week. We're going to check to make sure there's uh, good laying, check for supersedure cells, cut them down. So that's off to a really good start. Hardly any drift. The queen accepted perfectly and basically laying instantly. And no wonder because it's just a matter of taking the queen from the mating nuke into a cage, into the package, driven across the countryside, shaken into this box, released, and away she goes. So fresh. Such young bees. I work my way all the way down the line. Right full of eggs. Not waste this side too, right full of eggs. There she is. It's a Jacob Ackerman queen. Not wasting any time. Beautifully accepted. side a little bit of nectar coming in you know if they wouldn't make these damn supersedure cells right off the start unfair to that new queen Easy to forget things. Working through hive after hive after hive, thinking about other things. 
you go through the motions and you don't follow through. And look what I did. I, I didn't follow through with one of the things I was intending to do. Drop foundation in. Because things get missed. One of the little tricks that I use to ensure that doesn't happen. A little bit of redundancy here, but these queen cages I'll leave up on top. I know that colony has been checked for the queen. I will set out three patties because I'm going to have three patties fed to this pallet. And I set out three foundations so I know when I'm done, after this unit, I should have three cages up on top, three patties fed, three pieces of foundation put in. That way I don't have to think about this all the time. I can drift my mind into other things.